Hello everyone, this is Suprita from Informatica and in this video I am going to give you a demo on how to load a Cognos resource in a metadata manager warehouse. So I will be just giving you the prerequisites to load the Cognos, we will give you some information on configurations and overall give you the steps to load Cognos in metadata manager through a demo. Basically, Cognos, it is a business intelligence tool that includes applications for reporting, dashboards, scorecarding, and analysis. And you can create and configure a Cognos resource to extract schema and reports metadata from, from Cognos. And since it, it, uh, it is basically at extracting schema and reports from a Cognos server, so you would need to install a metadata manager agent in a Windows server. So this metadata manager agent will be interacting with your Cognos resource to extract metadata. Apart from installing the metadata manager agent, you will be requiring external dispatcher URI and then you would need to configure appropriate connections, uh, appropriate permissions. And once these things are in place, you just have to configure the Cognos resource information and then test the connection and just start loading. Uh, something about dispatcher URI. This is basically required uh, to configure the Cognos content manager resource. And you can verify this URI in the Cognos content manager configuration slash cogstartup.xml file. This file will contain the, uh, the URI and it will be similar to something like host name, port name, slash p2pd, slash servlet, slash dispatch. So you have to make sure that you're using the right URL. The format should be right. And apart from that, you have to verify permissions. So in order to extract metadata, the Cognos user account that you are providing for loading the data, it should require, it, sh it, sh it needs basically read, execute, and traverse permissions on all objects that uh, the metadata manager extracts. And this can include folders, reports, queries, analysis, packages, and connections. And you can also secure Cognos data sources against multiple namespaces. And this, uh, the namespace that you need to secure the data source, it may not be the primary namespace used to log into Cognos. But when you are extract, and but when the metadata manager is basically extracting a Cognos object that is associated with a data source that is secured ag against multiple namespaces, the Cognos user uh, account it should have required permissions that is read, execute, and tra traverse for the primary namespace. So let's start with the demo now. So here I have a Windows machine where my metadata manager agent is installed. And in order to look at the, so while configuring, you will be required to give the port name on which the metadata manager server is running as well as the host name on which it is installed. So if you go to the metadata manager installation directory and open the installation summary.txt, you'll, you'll find the agent URL and you can use this URL to cross check whether you know the URL that you're giving, giving is correct. And this is the URL that goes in the configuration file. Once that so once that's done, you just open this URL that that is the host name port and M MMB web services, and this page should come up. You should get information about uh, since when this is running and about uh, what is the log level currently, and this and, and all these information. I'll also show uh, the Cognos uh, uh, Cognos connection and all the information on this. So I have some projects and I have some folders. So I'll be trying to extract one of the folders from this and see if it's work and then show you a demo through it. So I'm logged into the metadata manager. Let's let's log into the metadata manager UI. All 
right I'm now on to the catalog page so I'll just go to the load tab and in order to add a new resource you just need to click on to actions plus new resource select the resource type here that you're trying to extract currently i'm trying to extract a cognos resource so here i have it select cognos click next give test cognos do a next now in here you have to give the mm agent url then you have to give the dispatcher url also you need to show uh, give the username and password then content browsing mode and just explain one by one what these configurations mean so the version currently i have a 10.x so either it is 8.4 or 10.x so i'm going to select a 10.x and then dispatcher of url i've already explained namespace basically it defines a collection of cognos user accounts from an authentication provider so if you did not configure uh, configure authentication for cognos you don't have to configure this option so for example in my case i won't be using a namespace then user and password this username is required to log on to the cognos repository database this is required if the Cognos repository database has been set up to require username and password. And if you did not configure co authentication for Cognos, you don't have to configure this option. So the current example I uh, have, my Cognos repository doesn't have a password. So I won't be giving you giving any information on that about uh, the username and password. Then content mo uh, browsing mode so it basically gives you information about the objects that can be retrieved from the cognos repository and you'll have uh, any of the following options one is packages only which is a tree of packages and folders in the cognos re repository those things are retrieved and reports are not retrieved from the repository if you select on connections the list of connections in the cognos repository only uh, they are retrieved and all here a tree of packages folders queries and repro reports they are retrieved and by default all is the option that it, that is you know there then add dependent objects if you go to add de dependent op uh, objects it basically you can specify any of the following either true or false and uh, the first level of dependent objects are added if you select true and when a report is specified the source model associated with the road uh, with the report is also important however any other reports which depend on a source model they are not important and false if you select false dependent objects are not added to the cognos ob object incremental import is true or false so this if you select as true only the recent load changes are loaded and for the first time if you are loading a cognos resource you should be uh, choosing the option as false folder representation you can specify any of the following ignore flat and hierarchy so ignore if you choose ignore then the folders are ignored in the catalog and if you choose hierarchical then the folders are presented as diagrams and their hierarchy is preserved in in the catalog and if you use flat the folders are represented as diagrams but their hierarchy is preserved in the catalog so number of worker threads you can specify how many threads you want them want so basically this number of uh, worker of threads will be used by the metadata manager agent to extract metadata asynchronously and you can either leave a blank or a positive integer value if you are entering a blank then the metadata manager agent it will calculate uh, number of worker threads on its own it will be basically using the jvm architecture and also how many available uh, how many cpu cores are available on the machine where you've installed your metadata manager and if if uh, 
you specify a value which is not valid then metadata manager agent it is going to use only one one thread auto assigned connections if you select this then the con uh, then your metadata manager configures connection assignments to relate relational database resource type during the resource lot so it will do what in, in on its own so if you disable this option you must configure connection assignments in the resource property after you create the resource so currently i'll be using just associate connections and i won't be needing to do any uh, to so that i don't have to configure any connections on on my own and the content you can just select whatever folders you want to select so for example i've already created a connection for my Cognos resource, I've already provided these information. That is the servlet URL, the username and password. For my case, it's not going to use any username and password. So I'll just remove the username and password. And uh, for content browsing mode, I'm just keeping it as, as, as all. And I'm going to add dependent objects as true and incremental uh, import since it's a, it's it's my initial first load i am keeping it as false now i'm just also keeping the worker thread as default so you can select the the folders that you want to extract by clicking onto the select option okay so we've got the filter now you can just uh, see all the folders and projects which are present so accordingly you can just select whatever you want so for example i'm i'm selecting now an hr resource hr folder so i'll just select gold and then click on to ok once that is configured i'll, I'll i haven't yet clicked on to auto connections and i'll just do an ok once the resource configuration is complete i'll just start the resource load So here it's saying the request load, uh, the load request is in queue. So the Cognos resource load is started. So if you go and look at the view details, you will find all the Cognos related information. And once the load is complete, you will you'll get the status as load as successful. And as soon as the load is done, it will start indexing. And if you've configured a related database then also the linking will will complete so for a complete resource load here is how it's going to look at look like so here's the cognos resource and once it is done you'll get information about the indexing is complete and your linking is complete you can check the information in the load tab if you go to the catalog the test is the name of the cognos and you'll see what all folders are extracted so the hierarchy will be something like this public folders hr development packages hr world so this was the name of my uh, report and here if you select any of the object you'll find the properties of it the native id basically what's the natively what's the id and what type of it it is whether it's a model and who's the author so these information will get the metadata basically the metadata will get extracted on your right hand panel so basically it's very simple to load a business uh, cognos resource and if you need any information you can always refer to the metadata manager admin guide it's going to be very helpful and you have all information about the configuration details and we would really love to hear from you if you have any comments or if you have any questions do do uh, send your email to this the following link so thank you for hearing